Lauren, I have a confession to make. What's your confession? I lied last video. I think this is the video where our channel peaks. Aww, <laughs> uh, I'll never forgive you for this. Yeah, we can never get better than Huntan. Do we want to do the tutorial or jump straight into the prologue? Let's do the tutorial, because I'm sure this game has lots of complicated mechanics. Sure. Are you doubting me? No, I'm just doubting the developers. I mean, Keemstar is the president of this game, so I should probably like give him some credit, because they clearly know how to source their voice talent. Oh, definitely. I mean, without a doubt. Yeah. Do you this is just a clone of the opening from the, um... The, the, the Gearbox Half-Life game. Oh. There's basically, there's a Gearbox, you know um, Gearbox Software made Borderlands? Yeah. Yeah, they made a standalone DLC for Half-Life 1, where you, you play as one of the soldiers the sent in to like go kill everybody. So. And this is the you fucking tutorial. Yes, That's not a good and sign. It's also just you worse, like look at these animations. Name, What's wrong with your eyes? Don't say it. I will call you He's looking to the right. Well, Private <laughs> What's up over there? <coughs> He's keeping an eye on one of the other recruits. <laughs> like, that fucker better not move again. <coughs> God. Excuse any coughing I may do. I am sick as shit. Oh yeah, Lana's extremely sick. I did offer her multiple times to not record this video, but she was very diligent. I was like, hey Lana, we can take a break for a couple of days. I'll still have time to edit. And she's like, no, you do not understand my immeasurable hype to play Hunt Down the Freeman. I have never I been so wait. excited to play Hunt Down the Freeman. These were her exact words. I was like, yeah. Lana, you're sick. And she was fucking vomiting, like projectile vomiting on the floor. But she fought through it because she wanted to play Hunt Down the Freeman. Honestly, this is the only thing that gives me joy in life. Also, God, these fucking cameras, camera angles. They're really okay, good. Okay, right, I just, I want to play the game. Because, just, the camera is too shaky and it's giving me a headache. An hour and 55 minutes, I can still refund. Exciting. Are you telling me you don't want this at the top of your Steam library? I don't know, here's the thing. We're recording this when the game's been out for about a year now. And it's had multiple updates. So, there's a good chance they fixed the game. Um, the, like, most recent reviews are mixed when originally it was overwhelmingly negative. Yeah. Um, so maybe it's better. Also, who am I and what am I? Hello. I touched the titty. You're right. the mysterious Mr. Greensleeve. I have- is that a bottle or a knife? Oh, it's a- the cap's still on it! <laughs> Why am I just drinking from the cap? You're not even drinking from the cap, you just suck on the cap and then throw the fucking bottle. Exactly, so I joined the Marines. This is the tutorial, but this isn't what happened. He wasn't looking up to the right. The entire plot of Gordon Freeman fucking doing whatever the fuck is a terrible story. But they could have made it up with gameplay if they just spent more time- Fuck that blood! They could have like spent more time working on gameplay, maybe. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. How the fuck do you pronounce that last name? Denny Zarian. Oh, hello. We learned in the Resident Evil video you shoot them in the dick. And that goes on my ammo. How do I enable the console? Enable. Apply. I want to just see if they were lazy and they gave the character a third person model or not. Uh, it's SV underscore cheats one. Ah! <laughs> Wonderful. I am the default Half-Life model. There he goes. Let's go, alien scum. Here I come for you. Let's -a go. What is up with that other arm? Also, I feel like we probably should diss the game for this, considering we're not actually supposed to be seeing this. This is just yeah, me but it's still fucking, fucking... With the camera, because like I know how source works. It's still funny to make fun of. Oh yeah. I think we should play the rest of the game like that, personally. No, I just enabled Impulse 101. Let's see if it works. 
Ah, yes it does. Excellent. <laughs> uh, Impulse 101 back. is the developer console. It's a debug command that gives you all the available weapons. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't have done that. You know, I think that the speedrun is void now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a glitchless speedrun. I swear. I don't think glitchless speedruns allow you to cheat. Is it a glitch? No, but it's a exactly, cheat. Exactly, there we go, it's technically glitchless. Yeah, but I, there are other rules as well. Yeah, no, but it's not, it's not fucking cheatless, it's just glitchless. Also, there is like no music or anything. I am really fucking confused as to where I'm supposed to go. Just click on everything. Yeah, I am. Maybe you can use your binoculars to find where to go. <laughs> yeah, let's use this item that's not even available in this part of the game. Hmm. I'm on the lookout. I'm on the lookout for fuck to give. Oh, cutscene. Oh, is this is this the plot? Is this why we're hunting down the Freeman? I think we might have found the plot. Also, why is Freeman a raging sociopath in this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, okay. Freeman was quiet so you could reject, and like he was never this psychotic. He didn't drag someone away and then torture them. Do you want a spoiler? Sure. As far as I know, that isn't supposed to be Freeman. Whoever it takes. However uh, it takes before Also, I die, why did you say, do I want I a spoiler? I don't think anyone is sitting here going like, God, I really hope they don't spoil the story. Oh man, oh God. I'm so oh hyped God. to find out what happens in Hunt Down the Freeman. Oh, oh God. boy! I, I can't wait to find out if that's actually the Freeman. Oh my God. Freeman! I'm gonna touch his Freeman. <laughs> oh, it's the G-Man. It's the guy who can't pronounce Black Mesa. Black Mesa. Hey, wait. Give me the med hey. kit! Get over here, fucker. <laughs> Give me the med kit! It's sort of fucking God! <laughs> Alright, that's Not... a... <laughs> <laughs> Let's reload, because I feel like having all of the gu- Oh, no, we can't reload, shit, uh... Kill. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, I feel like having... Shit. Every single weapon right blood. off the bat in the hospital scene probably up. isn't the smartest idea. Hey, yeah. I need that med kit, buddy. I love the voice Dude, acting. I also, that. I love Dude, how they didn't I'm bother... Gonna... They didn't even bother making new animations, they're using the fucking... Default Half Life run animations. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, man, this, this is, is thrilling real. gameplay. Yes. Ow. I took damage randomly for some reason. Hey, nothing personal. You better give that to me before it does get personal. Who are you talking to? He's not here. Ooh, a button. Waddle like a penguin. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's like no intensity, and also I think Gordon Freeman was mute for him. Hello. Ah, oh, good. The medkit gave me hands. Man, modern science is amazing. Yeah, I don't know. Is this like the only option? Because like this kills you. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Cool. So it like leads you to believe that's like the only way out. Cause oh no, there's a zombie. Why do they all walk in a single file line? Is this like the new version of YMCA? They're like a boy band. <laughs> they have like their own thing they've sorted. Hey guys, how's it going? It's like fly around the map from the outside. Here's an issue. It's a fucking huge issue when we have to no clip to try and work out what the fuck we're supposed to do in your game. I'm guessing this is a way out because, like, it's a new area and there's more zombies here. This isn't a way out. This is Hunt Down the Freeman. I am going but um to lick your face. But um Oh, God. Oh, 
That's a cutscene. <laughs> Ow, my head. <laughs> oh shit, I hate everything. <laughs> that Asian guy is voiced by I hate everything, and he does two different voices in this right. game for some reason. I'm fine, thanks. An HECU? What are special <laughs> forces doing here? I was about to ask the same question. Yes. We all know that that's the uh, Asian accent. For the remainder of this video, so no one thinks otherwise, we're not hating on the voice actors or the YouTubers specifically for their shit performance. From what I understand from my Hate Everything's video, they had very little direction. Um, according to him, his only direction was his performance should bring people to tears. <laughs> and I don't know how the fuck that's a direction. But, you know, anyway, where are we now? Yeah, it's direction enough. Where the fuck are we? Outside. I love how it's, like, so obvious the bodies have been played. Like, it's so obvious this map has been built. Yeah. That's the issue, because, like, in games like Half-Life and things, and Left 4 Dead, and I guess any Valve property, <clears throat> it's really hard to tell when things have actually been placed down manually. It looks like yeah. everything is just a part of it. Also, calling it now that someone's gonna get up. Oh, no, never mind. What about you? <laughs> no, you're dead too. What about you? I oh, you have no legs, so fuck it. No leggy boy. Give him a blanket. What the cold? What the fuck was that? What? <laughs> I'm, I'm like a cat that's been locked outside. Yo, shit, are you a pro Genji main? Yeah, clearly. This is Genji and Hanzo. Also, I found a knife inside a shopping trolley. Shopping trolley. Yeah, what about it? Shopping trolley. What? Big fish, little fish. <laughs> I thought you hate that song. I have a love-hate relationship. Come on, guys, let's prepare for our future careers. Stack the shelves. Stack the shelves. <laughs> That's the most depressing line in any song ever. What? <laughs> let's prepare for your future career. Stack the shelves. <laughs> That's not even in the song, though. I just added it. <laughs> oh, God. Well, oh, you make really, it fucking I depressing. Really see them. Look at the face model. It's kind of hard to see when you're uh, vibrating. <laughs> what, you don't vibrate all the time? I do. I just look at a face and I'm like, shit, I'm vibrating again. Yeah, also, what the hell am I supposed to do again? This entire video is just like me going like, what the fuck is going on now? I might need this for later! <laughs> I'm taking this, this with me! Later. Come on, clipping. <laughs> I need it for later. Pockets don't exist. <laughs> Pockets don't exist. I just hold it above my head. Half Life takes place in a dystopian future where pockets just don't exist anymore. I mean, do you mean hunt down the creep? Also, that guy got sniped. Do you mean hunt down? Oh shit! What shotgun? Well, it takes place in the Half Life universe, so you know. <laughs> Does it though? <laughs> in a parallel universe where no one can speak like a human. Yeah. What what's going on now? Oh, now it's uh time. <laughs> it's 316. Here's my thing though, this game is seven pounds. While this elevator decides if it wants to open or not. I purchased this game, I didn't pirate it. I purchased it for seven pounds, and um I guess that's okay. Seven I'd say if it goes on sale for like three or four pounds, I will actually buy it properly and never refund it. Because that's like a fair price for, you know, a game that's not very good. Yeah. To me. That's like a fair price. Seven pounds is still a bit steep. But they released this game for like $20 when it first came out, if I remember correctly. Full price shitter. Yeah. I'm actually just gonna like talk about this because maybe the video will be out soon. On my second channel. Oh fuck, this fossil. I've been working on a project in Unreal for the last like four or five, no actually about a week I've been working on this thing. And uh, one of my biggest fears when I was working on it is how do I kind of like show where people need to go 
And I know it's like not on the same full scale, but everywhere I want you to go, you can see because there's lights. Yeah. I made it so there's little lanterns that point you where I want you to go. But there's also like secrets where the lantern doesn't show you. Like there's no lanterns where the secrets are. So like even just like a small indication like the, the button's green would really help to like show that I need to go to the elevator. Yeah. <clears throat> like that's all you have to do is just change like the texture of the button to make it green. So it looks like, or like make it flash slightly, so it looks like I need to, you know, do that thing. So fuck off. I need to fuck, fuck off. And this is then the fast zombies are way less threatening in this game than they were in Half Life 2. In Half Life 2, they're yeah. terrifying. But in this game, you're just action, action hero. I mean, here's the thing, in Half-Life 2, they weren't that difficult to kill, but they sneak up on you. Yeah, and the atmosphere like, is roof. pretty fucking scary at times. Yeah, it's because uh, they, they go first appear. If I remember correctly, someone will probably correct me if I'm wrong. But if I remember correctly, they first appeared in the level of We Don't Go to Ravenholm. Yeah. Which is my favorite video game level of all time. That's not even a joke. Night in the Woods is my favorite game, but We Don't Go to Ravenholm is my favorite level. Understandable. It's like genuinely just a marvel. We. Bye. Wow, the, the, the lighting and the shadows really work in this area. It looks like you're staring down at an IKEA floor display. <laughs> I probably am. Instead of the fuck. Uh, thanks, Amazon Echo. What happened? Oh no! I just all of a sudden hear the Amazon Echo go. I'm not sure. Also, didn't this guy die at the start of the game? Wait, what's this? Oh, I have night vision now. Yo, the new Tom Clancy looking fucking good. Cool. Right, we're we'll getting in the video here. This was Hunt Down the Freeman. But before we end it, there's something very important we need to we need to watch. So wait, as the game progresses, it's supposed to be like you're playing through like a day or some shit. I guess. <laughs> God, this right performance now, is terrible. I know I said I would roast YouTubers, but Keemstar's a rat, so... Yeah. He sounds just so bored. Like, he doesn't care. <laughs> also, the worst thing is, in an actual war like this, they would not go like, Hey guys, America, on behalf of the human race, we're giving up. The entirety of America now speaks for the human race. <laughs> sorry, Americans. sorry, sorry, we need to rewind. Just listen, he literally pauses for no reason. It's like, we have lost this battle. <laughs> Didn't need to pause. Man, audio editing, multiple takes, we don't need that. We don't need that, everything's fine. We don't need that fancy shit. I went in. Why? Hey, I've stopped giving a shit.